ganglion cyst is uh, the most common hand lump and it tends to be a fluid that breaks through from the joint. Um, the joint has fluid to lubricate it and around the joint there's a capsule uh, keeping that fluid in place. And over time there's some degeneration of the capsule and the fluid pops through and gets walled off and forms a, a benign cystic structure. Uh, and common places are really the back of the wrist or the, or the front of the wrist. Um, occasionally you can get them in the fingers, uh, in the base of the fingers or the tips of the fingers, Occasion mostly around joints, but you can get them around the tendon as well because the tendon has a, a lubrication lining too. Uh, and, and if you get a little cyst around the tendon, that, that also is, can be quite painful. The ganglion cysts mostly just come uh, what we call um, idiopathic. People just get them. They, they, they can be related to trauma uh, where you get a, a small damage to the capsule, either from falling or repeated uh, use. Uh, but most of the time, people just get them and, and there's no particularly sinister cause. They come in all ages, so you can get them in the, in the relatively young adults. Um, but they also come quite commonly in, 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 in older age. And as I said, it can be associated with, with arthritis as well. Generally in the hand and the wrist, because they're quite superficial structures, they don't have a great deal of muscle, people actually get to see them. So I guess the first symptom is people actually notice a lump in the hand. Um, they tend not to be painful unless the lump is big enough when it starts pushing on things or pushing on tendons or pushing on nerves, et cetera. And that's when they become painful. And occasionally, the, the, the cyst just keeps on increasing in size or, or travels to a different site. But they tend to all come from a similar area, like a stalk uh, of a balloon, but then the balloon fills up and it goes into different areas. And also sometimes people notice they disappear off their own, uh, own accord and then they come back. And that's another clue that it's probably a ganglion. As a general rule, I would say um, hand lumps uh, are benign. Um, in 10 years of hand surgery practice, I've only ever seen one very sinister hand lump, which was associated um, with, with a person that already had um, some features of, of other uh, sinister lumps in the body. But most lumps, whether it's ganglions, whether it's uh, lipomas, fat lumps, or, or what we call giant cell tumors, which are which are, are microscopic cells, but they present as solid lumps, they're all benign. Uh, I would say that the time people probably should present is if it becomes painful, uh, increases in size, and perhaps in certain ways uh, stops certain function. So if they're struggling uh, with wrist pain and it's getting worse, if, if the wrist is becoming stiffer or the fingers are becoming more swollen and, and, and it, things aren't settling. Or I guess there's a group of patients where it's just there, it's very large, it's very unsightly. Um, and that's maybe another reason to have a look at it. On the whole, uh, ganglion cysts can be um, left alone and they may go of their own accord. Um, one can aspirate uh, the ganglion cyst, which essentially with a bit of local anesthetic um, in the cyst, you can either burst the cyst or suck out some of the fluid. Th there is a high recurrence rate with that. The recurrence means it comes back. However, it may not come back to the same size and, and it may reassure the patient that it, it is a cyst and, and they have no concerns. Occasionally, we, we remove them surgically, and certainly around the, the wrist, um, one can do this through keyhole, uh, which is arthroscopy, which is a day surgery, and, it, and the recurrence rates, that means once you've removed it, the chance of it coming back are usually around one in 10, which, which sounds like a high figure, but actually most people are quite satisfied with having the, the, the cyst removed. Around the fingers, they can be removed under local anesthesia, 
so you not requiring any any kind of uh, sedation or, or general anesthesia so i would say if one does go to treatment the outcome is is very good 